Well, hey everybody, boy, I'm up at the daycare and we are on the short strokes. I got lots of information to share with you about what I'm fixing to do and information about the daycare with updates because uh, lots of cool things fixing to happen. Anyway, my big project today is this is going to be the main entrance in the back where they check the kids in and out and obviously you can see this looks horrible this is uh, going to get turned beautiful by the end of the day uh, i hope getting ready to do a big landscaping update here so let me get a quick shot of what it all looks like of course it's all red mud. we've had lots of rain so everything's wet but it's drying quickly and all of this is going to be transformed in to something i hope That'll be really awesome looking. So you know me guys, get busy. All right guys, I've offloaded uh, all my plants. And now uh, my youngest boy was nice enough yesterday to go get my trailer filled full of mulch. So I'm gonna go grab and get all that hooked up, grab all my tools, and I've got a lot of work to do. Okay guys, one of the things that I like to do when I do mulch, um, I like to put it down about four inches. That is not quite double what most everybody does, but there's a couple of reasons for it. I think it's very important. First of all, you're gonna get compaction. So when you fluff this up and you've got about a four inch when it's fresh, you get a month or so of rain and just time and gravity, it's gonna settle and compact and you'll end up with about two and a half inches. So that's one of the reasons. Uh, the other is the more product you put on here, that's a much more distance for the grass and weeds to get through. If it's got more to get through, it's going to be harder for it to get up and reach sunshine. And so hopefully that's going to really help with weed control. So guys, if you're doing it yourself, put it down a little bit thicker. Mulch is not that expensive. Well, I hate when things in a building get in my way. Anyway, I wanted to set three of these Nandinas here, but when I started digging, there's a big concrete plate right here, and I could only go down about three or four inches. So, no worries, instead of doing three, I'm just gonna do two, and I've got another place this one can go. So, I wish, I mean, this will be kind of plain looking with just mulch, but the mulch is definitely better than just mud. It'll be okay, not as nice as I wanted, but what can you do? I ain't gonna fight concrete.
Well, okay guys, all finished up. Before I do the reveal, I'll throw in a little bit of B-roll right here just to remind you what it looked like before we started. And with you seeing that now, I will swing the camera around and check it out. I think it turned out great. What a transformation to take something that was really bad looking and I, I won't call it a showpiece, but turn it into something that's not an eyesore and something that really turns out pretty. Now again, this will be the main entrance for checking the kids in and out uh, when they come in in the mornings and leave in the afternoon. So I think that turned out really well. So guys, hope y'all enjoyed that. I tried to pass on a bunch of information. Oh, and one more thing uh, to share with you. I know I've been doing a lot of content with here at the daycare, but guys, tomorrow they do final inspection. So keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully they'll be open here in the next week or so. So anyway, guys, with that, I'll uh, finish up this one. And guys, remember here at Project Next One, there is always one more. Obviously, we still got so many projects to do. And so lots of videos still coming. Again, the excavator is on its way. Hopefully another two weeks, uh, I'll have that and be starting lots of projects with it. So for now, guys, y'all have a great week upcoming. Stay safe and we'll catch you later.